We're going to start pulling the dash out of this car so we can put a cage in it. And I've already gotten the harness taken out here. It's just laying there. And I'm going to take do the same on the other side and then take both seats out. And I'll meet up with you guys after that. So seats are out, both of them, of course. And the harness is just kind of where they need to be. So this screw right here, it actually backed out fully. I found it underneath one of the seats. I found another screw, which I'm not sure where it goes, but it's, it's one of these. So these have been tightened down. I did not uh, thread lock them at this point because I believe that I have to remove, disassemble this, I guess, chassis, if you want to call it that, this, this bracket piece um, in order to remove the plate, which if I do have to do that to get the transmission out, then I don't want to have thread locker on them. And also this, this, and the, both the ones on the other side, they were not tight at all. So, and also removed, there's a red hook over here, which you may have seen in some videos. That's gone. Um, and if you've ever wondered, it is a Willwood Master. I am going to also tighten down this, just the right size, which it is. Because both this and the one on the other side, mm, there it is, are loose. So, I'm going to have to tighten those up some. And then I'm going to start taking probably the handle off and just some various things here and there. Um, wires and, you know, whatever else I need to, you know, there's a strip up there that has to come off and things like that. Um, and get further along and try to get this dash out and get the, of course, the cluster and all those and that over there. All right, so we're back again. And as you can see, the gauge cluster that's been there uh, since I bought the car, never actually had that out before, is now chilling down there so I get out of the way. I actually cut part of the dash there and right there so I can swing this down. I need to get the switch out. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take off just the dash pad and not do, eh, there's a bolt and there's a bunch of them. Like there's one there, there's one there and a few down there that I've already taken out. Um, because the steering wheel, which is, as you can see, held up by bungee cord right now, it attaches to the dash frame. There's a stud there and a stud there and there's two more back in there. And so this is my work pay, so it can't just sit here all night because um, it needs to move. So uh, I need to get the just the plastic pad off, basically, so that I can put it over there in, I guess, the passenger seat area and then bolt the steering wheel back up where it goes so I can drive the car out. Um, and right now it's it's more or less loose it's just like kind of see in there the HVAC box there and kind of like right here it moves with it so it's still stuck on there and I'm gonna have to try to figure out how that is because it's getting a little bit late and I need to get this off that would be a good goal would be to get this off all right gotta do this pretty quick shops closing but as you can see the, uh, the dash is out on the passenger side there's the rest of the parts so, uh, met the goal for today, and work on it some more tomorrow or another day. All right, so it is the next day, and as you can see, uh, dash is out on the floor over there. Um, so today, gonna be kind of some random little things. I think I might try to get some of these wires out. Might mess with the HVAC box, and uh, generally kind of tidy up what I had to hurry up and rush yesterday. The other thing is, the speedometer in this car does not work. Um, if you take the cable off the back and spin the little input to it, it does go up. Um, I'd put a new cable and basically everything new from where it enters the transmission up and around into the back and it still does not work. So I'm going to run it in the air real quick and we're going to see... Tires are definitely going, but as you can see, the speedometer's not, so we gotta mess with that. We are in gear. There's the speedometer cable, trying to get you guys close to it. And if I release the clutch, as you can see, it does not spin. So, some sort of issue with it. And uh, whatever it is, is that way on the cable or that way. So, it's not the cluster, it's not the cluster connection. Alright, so as you can see, 
the gear there is intact, but, and I don't know if we would have seen there very well, right, kind of, there's a darker spot, which is actually where there's a gap that goes down, so the tail shaft runs out here, and there's supposed to be a gear that goes around here that this meshes with, and if I stick my finger in there, there's not even a gear left, so the gear that's internal, the speedo drive gear that's internal to the gearbox, it's a T5, um, is apparently grenaded itself, so it's probably sitting somewhere down here, I guess, or there, or wherever. Um, so yeah, tail shaft's gonna have to come off, transmission have to come out. I know I discussed earlier about replacing the transmission, still a possibility, but um, I guess at least I'm glad that I know what the issue is, and that's what it is, so um, I can at least kind of put that on pause and move on. There's a vent up there that I think leaks because when it gets hot at the track it starts you can look under the car and it drips fluid and I think that's what the issue is but there's so many other things that could be leaking so that's another thing I need to deal with and then over here you can see kind of see right there where the oil is it's it's not focusing but um, there it is that right there to the very center of your screen that is where it's leaking at the front of the oil pan I'm going to try to doctor that up with some silicone like I've already done, but I'd really rather not have to pull the pan off because it means pulling subframe, which, I mean, I got time, but I'd rather not do it if I don't have to. So, I'm um, going to work on some other tasks. So, I was just about done under here, and I noticed a couple streak marks on the drive shaft, and I looked, and I've moved it now, but the, if I can get an angle on it, this is the hydro line. Um, trying to find a good angle to show you guys there's really not um, but it's rubbed not severely but it's touched a couple times I guess uh, when the car is loaded with all the stuff in the back and hit a bump or maybe under extreme like kind of drift condition really loading it up it gets rubbed a little bit here and there and also you can see that the um, there with the light a little bit the uh, fitting is seeping, which would explain why I lose pressure over time. So I'm going to clean that off and tighten that up a little bit more. And hopefully that'll help. And I'll check some more things under here. So I'm here with the other member of uh, Inspired to Slide. And I got the fender, actually got the whole front end off of uh, the Fox. And that was mainly to get this cruise control reservoir out. And uh, it gives me good access to all the bolts for the doors so I can line them up. Because that one's not terrible. But the one over here definitely is pretty far off you can see it's doesn't line up very well and it leaks really bad when it rains so I can't really park the car outside and just kind of wanted to look it over real quick if it focused um, while I had it apart and I noticed this crack and if you look here you can see where it's got kind of a bend to it it's not as obvious on camera as it is in person where this side's you know nice and straight but the really scary part is if you watch this while you lift the car You can watch the gap close up, and then if I hold the camera really still and lower it, you can watch it open back up again. So that's going to be added to the list of things we really need to fix, because that's not safe at all, and you can also see where it's separating there, you know. So, um, yeah, more fun stuff we got to do, but like I said, we got about three months, so we'll do what we can, we'll get done what we can.